Still, Gordon Golden Boy Killer. And still, Boy Killer. Zero Quill, Lithium, Polyxium. Golden Boy Killer. What's up, Bill? Hey, the new Golden Boy Killer. Devin the Dream, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? We plan on closing the doors on Golden Boy. You know what I mean? One more, one next step in the, the legacy of Devin Haney, right? Jojo Diaz. We'd like to have Ryan Garcia, but we got Jojo Diaz, great opponent. December the 4th, it's going to be fireworks. Were you liking the energy up there, man? It looked like you were having some fun. It is what it is. You just need to do it. December 4th, he's going to have He's a good fighter, you know. You can't, you can't say that. I, I don't, I don't want to say, oh, yeah, he was scared. I seen it in his body. I, you know, at the end of the day, he's going to come to fight. I know that. And uh, it is what it is. You'll see. What did you think about, like you were saying, him seeming to start giving away the game plan? Did it sound like he was giving away the game plan a little bit? Did it sound like it? It sounded like it a little bit. But I don't know. We just, we just got to see. December 4th, he's going he gonna to bring his best. I'm going to bring my best. You know, he, he, he gonna come ready, I'm gonna come ready, and may the best man win. Is that actually a sign of confidence from him though? Like, I'll just tell you what I'm gonna do, come stop it. Well, he was uncomfortable. He was he was a little uncomfortable, so, you know, he got to rambling, but it is what it is at the end of the day. You know, he, he could say, he could say, oh, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna go do that, and, and, and go in there and do something different. I can't, you know, base the fight off that. At the end of the day, he gonna come in there, he gonna give it his all, I'm gonna give him my all. And the best man gonna win. That's gonna be me. But you never seem to give away the game plan. You know, some fighters do, but why not? Why not you, Devin? Why would I do that for? <laughs> why would I do that for? <laughs> you feel like the fight with Lenares gives you the experience to be a guy like JoJo? Oh, um, I feel like I could have beat him before the Lenares fight. I'm not gonna say, oh, but now I beat Lenares, now I can beat him. Uh, I feel like I'm just a better fighter overall than him, and uh, it will show December 4th. Do you feel like the length is gonna play a big role in this fight for you? Everything, everything, everything. But then they skills pay the bills. You can talk about size. You can talk about what you've been through, where you come from. All that. At the end of the day, skills pay the bills, and that's all I'm worried about. And then, I didn't. I didn't beat up bigger guys. I didn't beat up smaller guys. So I'm not gonna say, oh, well, I'm bigger than you, so I can beat you. Man, that shit don't work. It looked like you did stump him when you asked him, "Who have you fought, you know, similar to yourself?" I mean, he's seen some speed before with Gary Russell. Do you think your speed he is lost. different than that? He lost. Did he lose? Yes. Oh, okay. Hey, Devin, Eddie said yesterday he sees you fighting Tia Fimo next year. Do you want that fight in 2022? Come on, man. You ask a question you already know, man. You you, you see me and Tia Fimo go face to face. I'll be going face to face because we want to we, we both want to make a fight happen. Hey, this question is for uh, this is a question for Eddie Hearn. Eddie, uh, you and you and Tia Fimo ship on him fighting the next African Bosnian. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's a natural fight. They're two guys that I do believe want to fight each other, but they've both got tough fights. Devin has a much tougher fight, in my opinion, on sure. December 4 than November 27. But Tio has also been out for a long time. He's, he's had to deal with a lot of ups and downs as well. But I believe they've both come through the fight. And I've already said to Bob Arum, ESPN, DAZN, both, share it, whatever. Let's just make the fight. We, you know, we keep talking about this era of great lightweights, but you've got one guy just will only fight guys in the same platform as him you got another guy that's out injured and not fit to fight in many ways and then you got Devin and Tio who are actually the two guys that are in the gym and I believe ready to fight that is a tremendous fight it's a massive uh, fight for American boxing and I said one thing yesterday you look at all these guys that are headlining these big cards at the moment right pay-per-view whatever their ages all start with a three right Look at this new generation coming through. This is the future of boxing. Devin Haney, Tio, Ryan Tank. These guys are the young men that have the chance to change the demographic of boxing, to change the audience of boxing. But we've got to make sure they fight each other. He will fight anyone. He would have fought Tio on December 4th. So no do you, problem. Do you agree with Rob, what Robert Diaz said up there that, you know, when the fighters really want it, the fight gets done? Do you feel like that's the case even when you're a Tio? Uh, of course. I mean, sometimes, you know, uh, the the networks and, and, and the politics of boxing play a role, but nine times out of ten, when the fighters want it, they can they, they can make it they can make it get done. I think they can, I, the fighters have to say, the fighters have the power. So yeah, and I, I didn't agree. He says he says something like, oh, I'm not seen, Prince not seen. Yeah, yeah, Prince not seen with Southpaw. What are you talking about? Like, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Yeah, he's preaching all the way. Like, did you think about the? He went. He went home and he slept on that. Like, all right, I'm gonna say this. Like, that wasn't good. Like, and JoJo is a Southpaw. Barrera was right-handed. 
nuts. He's nuts. He's nuts. He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be the first one to try to come in and bulldog you, man. Man, man I, didn't see that, that, I, didn't see, I didn't see that shit my whole life. Like, that's everybody game plan. Oh, I'm going to just bang him out. Like, you think I got this far by just letting uh, somebody go in there and just, oh, I'm about to rough him up or, yeah, I'm about to just bang him out. Like, man, get out of here. But that's what they got to do with a fighter like you, though, right? I mean, because you, you're not going to outbox. I can do everything, so it, I don't know what you got to do. <laughs> you can do what you want to do. It ain't going to work. I just mean, you know, you're not going to outbox Devin Haney, so isn't that probably your best route? You know, try to put the pressure on him? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, ain't st I, can't, I, don't, I don't know how to beat Devin Haney, so I can't tell you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, he just said a little slick comment. I don't know if that's the I mean, game planner. You know, he says keep your jab up, but come on. Like, you feel like yeah, uh, I do feel like, you know, he's, he's a little mad, but at the end of the day, when you're at the top, that shit don't really matter. At the end of the day, he gonna go in there, he gonna put up a fight, he gonna get his best, I'm gonna get my best. He can, go, he can say what he wanna say, I can say what I wanna say. I know he gonna come to fight, and I'm gonna come to fight. What do you think of the South Park? You say he got all this newfound motivation for this thing that's happening in life, and you say that that won't matter as well. It don't, at the end of the day. You know, you could be, you could be going through whatever you wanna go through, whatever you, whatever your motivation is, he got a family, I got a family. We, we all got, you know, people that we got to take care of. We want to feed. So at the end of the day, he, you know, we all got responsibilities. We going to give his arm and give him arm. He went pro, you know, very young. Is, part of, is there any part of you that wants to whoop him because he was the Olympian and you never, you know, had that chance to? I don't care about the Olympics. He could have got a gold medal. I wouldn't even care. Mm -hmm. if, he, if, if he got a gold medal and they told him, all right, we're going to put the WBC belt, I'm going to put up the gold medal, and you win, I'm going to say, no, keep it. Keep it. Keep the gold medal. I'm cool. I, I want the belt. What about the fact that he's a southpaw, Devin? How's that factor into the fight? Uh, of course, it's, it's, it's a difference. You can't fight southpaws the same way that you fight uh, right-handers. But we'll see. I've been sparring uh, with southpaws for months now, uh, preparing for JoJo. For some reason, like even when the Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia got made, the fight got made, Eddie was telling me, "No, we're no. I think I think we can get JoJo. I think we, I think we, I think JoJo's gonna fight. I think." We're, and I was like, nah, Eddie. I was still smart softball, so that what's your, it happened. What's your prediction for Canelo and uh, Caleb? Man, I love Caleb. That's my boy, man. Uh, it's a tough task for him to beat Canelo, but I'm rooting for him. I'm rocking with him. Hopefully he go in there and do it. Um, uh, I'm behind him 100%. You like Canelo too, though, don't you? You watch, watch a number of his fights. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Canelo, of course. I, I, I love Canelo, but I got a personal relationship with Caleb, so I'm always going to rock with the home team. Ke uh, Canelo, he's, he's, he's at the top, been at the top for a while. Uh, you know, he's proven, and uh, of course, I would love Caleb to win. He's an underdog, he's a guy I know, but like I said, it's not going to be an easy task. Canelo is fucking Canelo, best part in the world today. Um, you know, so we got to see.